In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make this text that you see here. Let's start by creating a new project. So go to the File menu and select New. Set the width to 1280 pixels and the height to 720 pixels. Now let's add some text. So click on the Text tool, then click right here to set the font. I'm going to use Sans Bold. Then set the text size to 400. Now click in the canvas area and type your text. To center the text, click on the Move tool. Now you can drag the text into position. Now we're going to add a checkerboard pattern to the text. So first we need to select the outline of the text. To do that, right click on the text layer and select Alpha to Selection. And now from the Filters menu, select Render, and then Pattern, and then Checkerboard. Set the checkerboard size to 25 pixels. Next, we're going to distort the checkerboard pattern. So from the Filters menu, select Distorts, and then Eye Warp. Here we have some options to set. So set the Deform Mode to Grow, set the Deform Radius to 10, and the Deform Amount to 0.6. Then position your cursor over the G. Hold down the mouse button and move the cursor along the center of the text. Then release the mouse button. Then go up to the top of the I, hold down the mouse button, and move the cursor down through the center of the eye. Then release the mouse button. Repeat this for the top and the bottom of the eye and the remaining two letters. Since the deform mode is set to grow, we are making the checkerboard pattern in the center of the text larger than the edges of the text. This will give us some nice distortions. It will also help us to make the center of the text appear to be closer to us and thereby give the text some depth. When you're finished tracing the text, then click on the OK button. Now we're going to add more depth to the text by adding some shading around the edges of the text. So to do that, let's start by shrinking the selection area. You'll notice that the outline of the text is currently selected. To shrink the selection, go to the Select menu and select Shrink. Change this value to 10 pixels and click OK. Here you can see that the selected area is smaller. Now go to the Select menu again and this time select Feather. Change this value to 40 pixels and click OK. This will soften the edges of the selection. Now currently our selected area is inside of the selection. What we actually want to do is to select the outside of this area. So go up to the Select menu and select Invert. The next thing that we are going to do is to add a new layer. So click on this button. Make sure Transparency is selected and click OK. Now click on the Bucket Fill tool. Make sure that the foreground color is set to black and then click in our selected area. Now we have our shading around the edges of the text, but the background was also filled in. So we need to remove this background color. To do that, right click on the center layer that has our text and select Alpha to Selection. Now our original text is selected. We want to select the area outside of this text, so go to the Select menu and select Invert. Now click on the top layer to select it. This is the layer with the background. Then from the Edit menu, select Clear. We're done with the selection now, so go to the Select menu and select None. And now merge the top two layers by right-clicking on the top layer and select Merge Down. The next thing that we are going to do is to add a lighting effect to the text. This will give the checkerboard pattern some depth. So from the Filters menu, select Light and Shadow, and then Lighting Effects. This blue dot is the light source. 
Move it closer to the center. Then click on the Bump Map tab. Put a check mark next to Enable Bump Mapping. This drop down menu lets us select the layer to use as the bump map image. These selections should match the layers that you see here on the right. Make sure that the layer with the text is the one that is chosen. Then click OK. Now let's add some color. So from the Colors menu, select Colorize. Set the hue to 31 and click OK. And now we're going to add a border around the text. So right click on the top layer and select Alpha to Selection. And then grow the selection by going to the Select menu and select Grow. We're going to grow the selection by 5 pixels, so set this value to 5 and click OK. And now add a new layer by pressing this button. Make sure that Transparency is selected and click OK. Now click on the Bucket Fill tool so that we can fill in the selected area. Make sure that the foreground color is set to black and then click inside the selected area. Then move this layer down below the text layer by clicking this green down arrow button. We're done with the selection now, so go to the Select menu and select None. And now merge the top two layers by right clicking on the top layer and select Merge Down. We're done with the text, so let's work on the background now. So click on the bottom layer to select it. Then from the Filters menu, select Render and then Clouds, and then Plasma. Then click OK. Now from the Colors menu, select Desaturate. Then select Luminosity, and click OK. Now we're going to add a light effect. So from the Filters menu, select Light and Shadow, and then Lighting Effects. And now click on the Material tab. We want to reduce the shine, so set the shiny value to zero. Now click on the Bump Map tab. Make sure that there is a check mark next to Enable Bump Mapping. Then use the drop down menu and select the bottom layer. Now click OK. Next, let's add some color to the background. So from the Colors menu, select Colorize. Set the Hue to 31 and the Saturation to 27. Then click OK. Now let's adjust the brightness and the contrast. So from the Colors menu, select Brightness Contrast. Set the Brightness to 74 and the Contrast to 60. Then click OK. The last thing that we are going to do is to add a drop shadow to the text. So click on the top layer to select it. Then from the Filters menu, select Light and Shadow, and then Drop Shadow. Then click OK. And now we have our finished image. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.